Hey guys, what's up? I'm finally back from the holidays and the dark pit of despair that is my university exams bring to you a new guide. And today, it's on assault rifles. So first off, by assault rifles, I'm talking about the German STG, the American M1M2 carbine and the Soviet AVS, which, let's all say it together, like the AVS is, 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 is just the best weapon in the game. Disclaimer! This is largely just my own opinions and preferences. Some people will disagree with some things, and that's fine, everyone has their own playstyle. But, I'll do my best to look into other playstyles too. Then I'll rate these guns, and see which one is truly the best, and of course the montage at the end. So let's go. So, first off, what I like to do is uh, not to mod these guns individually, but I usually just generalize them into a sort of playstyle modding scheme or whatever. So, I've come up with three of them. Personally, for assault rifles, I think you can go rate of fire, you can go stability and range, or you can go uh, damage builds. So, the one I've opted for is to go for the rate of fire mods on all three guns. And starting off with the STG here, I've... Uh, you can see I'm using the standard ammo to stop the recoil. Uh, I'm going to put sights on these guns. I would I would put sights on them. It's just at the moment I don't have the like interest to do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it at some point. Um, so because I've gone for rate of fire, I'm obviously going to choose the fuel trigger and the light and spring. Even though they increase recoil, they only do it a tiny bit. So so it's manageable. It's manageable. But I'm not putting on the barrel or the ammo because these would make it the worst. So this is what I've what I'm stuck with. Just pretend that that sight is there. Let's just, just pretend. And uh, of course the carbon black camo because that's the best. Uh, for the M1 M2 it's very much the same options. I believe this gun actually does have the exact same. Yeah it kind of it has the exact same options but the AVS is a little bit different actually. So if we look at it um, it has more ammunition options and it also has this extra barrel here, the URA barrel. Um, I used to play a lot with it, but I then decided to just just focus on rate of fire. So because this one dec decreases it, I thought, eh, you know, I'll, I'll take it off. You know, let this gun live up to its uh, to its name here. So I took it off, and I'm just running it in the same way as the STG. Again, pr please pretend that I do have the sight. And as for the other ways to mod them, you can then go for stability and range. Yeah, stability and range. Um, where you can then all I do is keep the standard ammo, take off the trigger and the spring because they both add stability. So it doesn't matter to you, you don't really need the rate of fire. And don't put on the stainless steel barrel because it increases stability. Uh, instability and then what I do is then just put on the scope so basically what you'd be running is just an STG with just the scope modification on it and that is good because the gun is easy to control at range so it's not going to be too terrible to use with a scope and I think the same the same applies to the M1 carbine I'm gonna maybe it's easier if I do that M1 carbine and the AVS is, again, a little bit different. I would still stick with the standard ammo, but actually, you have this Ura barrel, which actually helps both your range and stability, and increases the damage for you a little bit, all at the cost of a little RPM, but that's okay. So I would run the barrel, the Ura barrel, with the field adjusted, no, with the PU T-Post scope. And that's the range build. And then the last, the final option, the suicide option, is to run the high damage build. Now, for that one, you'd obviously want everything just kick-ass high damage. So then you'd go for the for the SDG, you'd go for the max damage ammo, uh, stick with the field, start, field sights. I would opt for fuel trigger and light spring, if you're a rich bastard, that is. And then also the stainless steel bow, so you have all upgrades, everything. Um... This is, of course, going to be very hard to control, but you're, if you're thinking about short-range encounters, then fine, you can do this. It doesn't really matter that much. For the M1-M2, it's exactly the same. Easy peasy. Uh, for the AVS, 
you have more ammunition options and if you're gonna be doing this build you're only gonna be encountering people at very short ranges so then I would perhaps go for the type D heavy ball the one that goes up to here maybe you can go for the sniper ammo if you're feeling like you you like you can snipe with this gun which you can't um, and then damage build so you would go for the Uratu heavy barrel of course and yeah that's that's about it for that uh, for that modification scheme so how do I get hold of one you ask good question thank you for asking these are unlocked the infantry assault 12 so it's gonna take you a while but what you can do is buy yourself a bolt action rifle to grind the ribbon since you get points a little bit faster this way I mean it's only 92,000 credits that's not so bad Three days later. Okay, so then when you get the money and the level for it, then you can buy it and grind yourself all the way up to Infantry Assault 12. Three weeks later. Whew, that was a long time, but it was worth it. Now we can buy... Oh, wait. Many months later. So after you've bought the gun and the camera for them, then you can go out and test them out. First off, it's worth saying that I play this class at all times with the fast reload badge on all three characters. That being said, the STG deals a fair amount of damage. It does 34 per shot, which is enough to kill non-heavy set users in three shots up to 35 meters. But that's even if they put on heavy set bronze, then it becomes four shots per kill. So it could be better, but still. It's uh, pretty easy to kill at longer ranges actually due to the lower rate of fire compared to the other two guns. Um, its precision is it's average, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem even at medium range. And it does actually have some pretty hard kickback for each shot. I think it's the most out of all three per shot. Okay, but you don't really have to do much to counteract the recoil on it due to the comparatively lower rate of fire. The damage on the M1 M2 carbine is the lowest out of all three. It does about 25 damage per shot, which means that it's always a 4 hit kill weapon, and the fact that some heavy set users can survive headshots from you is a bit... Mm. Um, beyond about 30 meters, it's 5 shots per kill, but let's face it, anything beyond 30 meters is irrelevant to you with this gun. Uh, it's best used at close range then, due to the low damage and also the high spread of its bullets when you're shooting it. The precision is also very bad, much like its cousin the M1 carbine, the bullet probably won't hit what you're aiming at, even if you're very carefully aiming at something with the scope, and, uh, and with the M1 carbine that's pretty terrible, so yeah. Um, stability wise, it's got very little recoil per bullet, but when you're firing at 1,028 RPM, you're going to be feeling it a lot harder. The main thing about it is just, it's not really the recoil, it's the spread of the gun. That's the main difficulty with it. But, that brings me on to the RPM, which is insane. It is definitely the strong point of this gun and its main advantage. Even with the low damage, this can kill in about a quarter of a second. The AVS has the highest damage of all. At roughly 37 per shot, you have a guaranteed 3-hit kill, even on he uh, Silver Heavy Set. In fact, it can 3-hit kill non-Heavy Set users up to 75 meters, which is quite impressive. So the damage is definitely the strong point on the AVS, and to, to me it feels like it hits very hard and it kills very fast. Given that you're using the rate of fire build I showed you, you can actually engage enemies pretty well at longer ranges. In fact, since this gun has a longer barrel, it makes sense that it also has pretty good precision. So you can kind of use it as a sniper rifle if you're in semi-automatic mode. The stability per shot comes in the middle of the other two, but it really does feel like it has a lot of recoil. It kicks back very hard. Uh, and even for the modest rate of fire, which is 720 RPM at the maximum. It's also worth mentioning that the AVS only has 15 bullets in its clip, which is half the size of the other two, so you definitely need Fast reload badge on this gun, no doubt about it. So, to conclude today's episode and 
to see which gun really is the best, I've devised a very high-tech way of figuring it out by making a table of various things and giving them a score on various aspects. So, I'm going to start with the first one, which is the damage. And I think the AVS wins this one, so I'm going to give it a score of 8. Uh, the SDG is also pretty good at damage, I'm going to give it a very reasonable 3. And the M1M2 is pretty terrible, you all saw that shot earlier to that guy's head that didn't kill him, so I'm going to give it a minus 2. Um, the second category is stability. Now this one, I know that the STG is, it feels really good. I'm going to give this one a score of 6. And uh, the M1M2, it's okay, at very close quarters, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to give this a, uh, a, a 4. And as for the AVS, I mean, you guys saw what name I gave it. So I'm, I'm going to have to give it a, a minus 4 for, for the recoil. Um, the next category is the rate of fire. Now, again, look at the name of my M1M2 carbine, and you'll see why I'm going to now give it a score of 9. Um, the AVS is 720 RPM, is decent, very good score, 3. And the SDG comes in at the bottom, so I'm going to have to give it a 0. Okay, um, the next one is camos. Now, let's look at the camos. You can see that the, the SDG has... The SDG has four camos, that's good. The M1M2, yeah, M1M2, oh, it only has three camos, that's, uh, that's not too good. And uh, the AVS, the AVS has one, two, three, four, five, ca five camos, my goodness, yes. Okay, so then to conclude, I'm gonna have to give STG has four camos, M1M2 has three camos, and the AVS, five camos. Uh, the next category is uh, street cred, so I think the AVS uh, might win this one just because it's a very hard weapon to use and no one really looks down on you for it. So and it, and it also has its own bayonet in this game, so that that is very good street cred for you. You get a nine. Uh, the next one would probably be the STG. It's it's pretty good. It's not such a no one looks down on you for using it. You know some people complain about it, so. It's okay. Four. Uh, the M1M2 carbine. Uh, the the amount of names that it has on the forums. The Korea bind. The noob tube. The whatever. Everyone says it's HNG in easy mode. That's not a lot of street cred for you if you use it. So I'm gonna have to give it a one. Um, and the last category is um, judging the performance of the gun based upon the KD and the total profit made with a very reasonable sample size of one. So, if we look at some matches, that, well, a match that I did for each uh, each of these guns, if I look at the, this is the STG match, you can see I made 709 score, 27, 7 kills, this is the profit, and this is the expense. So I've cut it down, I've, I'm only looking at the ratios here, so there we go, the top one is my KD ratio of 3.86, and this is my profit to expenditure ratio of 1.87. It doesn't mean much, because we have to compare it with the other ones. So this is the M1-M2 match. Uh, KD is 3.8, and uh, the expenditure ratio is 1.08. Ooh, I almost lost money in that match. That's, that's pretty Actually, no, because I have veteran. I just didn't show that anyway. Um, and the last one is the, the AVS match, which you see it here. KD of 3.88, and an expenditure of almost... 2.14 ratio, so that's that's very good. I actually made more than twice in pure credits than what I spent with this gun. That, that is very good. Um, quick thing that I noticed is quite interesting in all three matches is 3.86, 3.80, 3.88. Very close KD ratios. It's funny how it turned out that way. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna give this, the AVS obviously wins that because it has the highest in all three categories and give it an 8. Um, the, <laughs> this fucking middle of it. Um, the STG comes in second, so four. And the M1M2 gets a score of one. Okay, so if we total this up, we make it a total, I'm gonna do the grand reveal.
как степи, Волки казачьи с дома, Один казак из дома стоил, Ой, скучал, один казак по дому, Коню на гриву повод уронил. Ой, скучал, один казак по дому, Коню на гриву повод уронил. Okay, so we can see that the ABS won that. Obviously, it is the best out of all of these. Uh, STG comes into the second, and then M1 and M2 in last place. So uh, I'm going to make the same conclusion that Mr. Redbeon made and say that the AVS it, it, it's just the it's just the best weapon in the game. Like the AVS is 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 just the best weapon in the game.